Hey guys, welcome to the Ben Armstrong Crypto Show. And today we're gonna to be talking about the three coins, my top three coins that can get over a railroad track. No, that's what I just did. The top three coins here that I have the most confidence in in this bull run, okay? So, here we go. Without further ado, we will start the list. And welcome to the show, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, we're trying to reach 50,000 subscribers, guys. If we reach 50,000 subscribers, I will become a legitimate, prominent YouTuber, and I'm super excited about it, and hope you can help me with that. Um, and guys, make sure to also smash the like button on this video. It's the number one thing you can do um, to send a message to this cover up crypto. <clears throat> The number one thing you can do to support crypto adoption is to like this video. Um, but guys, and also here's this. Uh, these are the top three coins that I have the most confidence in. And I'm going to throw a cap. I'm going to throw a 2.5 out there. Okay. Um, there, there's going to be one, two coins that aren't going to make the list. However, the only reason they're not going to make the list is because I can't choose one or the other right now. Okay. So, let's get into it. Number one, the number one coin I have the most confidence in. It's not gonna shock anybody here if you've ever watched this channel. That's right, XRPR, XRPR, XRP. I said XRPR, that's not a project, XRPR. Guys, XRP, the most confident. Look guys, when this bull run hits, I've told you forever, the, the fact is, is that XRP is going to blast off and the fact that it is less than 52 or 53 cents wherever it's at around 50 51 cents right now incredible value incredible value for where this coin is going to go it's got the partnerships it has the products it has the software it has the blockchain it has the community it has everything that you want it's in a lucrative industry XRP, the future of banking, um, no, the, the, excuse me, not banking necessarily, the future of international transfer and cross-border payments, remittance payments in the banking world, the financial, the traditional world. You can't go wrong with XRP, obviously. Is it gonna go to $89? Is it gonna go to $22? Is it gonna go to $589? I don't know. But what I can tell you is the price will be higher than it is right now. I almost, almost guaranteed. Could never say 100% guaranteed, but that is my opinion. I think a $15 XRP is right in the crosshairs. Um, that's my opinion. Next, number two. The number two coin I have the most confidence in for this bull run is Ethereum. Now, is Ethereum going to be the number one gainer of this bull run? I believe XRP will be the number one gainer. Ethereum, I don't know if it'll be the number 17 coin, the 52nd coin, like, I don't know what it'll be. Nobody expected Shiba and Safe Moon to be the top two coins in the last bull run. They didn't even exist before it started, okay? So we'll have some new coins, I'm sure. But the fact is, is that with Ethereum and the, and the effects of the merge, there's no doubt. Guys, Ethereum has held steady over the last year. The, the price this year and the price last year are about the same, okay? The entire bear market, it, it never went below $900, okay? Ethereum with the merge, it's now moving towards um, moving towards being also like Bitcoin, digital gold, right? Because what does that mean? It means the value is in holding it. And when the institutions see that, the institutions will come in. And the institutions are the ones that have the highest prospects to turn Ethereum into a killer in this bull run, more than it's already been. It, right now, it's the number one, uh, number one layer one platform. And it's gonna continue to be for a while. I think Cardano will compete it with it one day, next four years. Not right now, though. Ethereum's lead is too big. Ethereum really needs NFTs to come back. Ethereum needs things to really pop off in order to get it to the highest amount. Could it be $20,000 it could hit? Could it hit $10,000? Somewhere there in the middle is probably where it will hit. Some, somewhere between eight and 20K, we'll see what happens. I, I would tend to think 10K should be a sure shot, but I thought in the last bull market it didn't happen. It got pretty close, well not close, it got half of it. Um, which, you know, either you say, oh, it need a hundred X gain to get, you know, it need a hundred X gain to get from 5,000 to $10,000 or 4,000 to $8,000 or whatever it was. However, the difference is that when it comes to Ethereum right now, 
or excuse me, here's what I meant to say. What I meant to say was, is that the fact is, is that it needed a 100 X to go from $5,000 approximately to $10,000 approximately. But guys, that two X is the difference between like a 17 X and an 18 X. It doesn't sound that much when you start getting the numbers up there. It wasn't as far as people think that it was. Um, but we definitely suspect some good stuff, okay? Now, next. Um, the next coin is Dogecoin. I, and, and, and shocking, I know, right? Dogecoin, me saying Dogecoin, why? Guys, Elon Musk gonna integrate this thing into X. It's going to, I don't see any, any question about it. I think that when you when you look at his plan overall, there's always been a plan in motion for him. He's got control of X. And that's really what this boils down to. You know, Dogecoin doesn't have a ton of things to go off of other than the fact that it's a meme coin and Elon Musk is behind it. I told you guys XRP case would end. I've made a lot of predictions. I told you guys Ethereum would be number one still after the bull run. Like I've told you guys all this stuff. This is definitely one of the things that I believe, which is Dogecoin will be integrated with X. The caveat, the one that I didn't say, Polygon and Optimism. Two projects I've got a lot of confidence in, but the fact is, it's, since there's two of them, you know what they say about co quarterbacks in football? If you got two quarterbacks, you got zero quarterbacks. We got some great layer twos. If you're investing in two of them, it's hard to pick a winner there. They're gonna eat up at each other, I believe, and they're both gonna do great, but I have not decided which one I like more right now for this bull run. That's all that I got. Guys, just be blessed.